It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. Here's George Springer. Here's a 1 1. And there's a ball. Chris, one dubious note out of Aldi. May 18, 2022, he matched a big league record, gave up five homers in an inning against the Astros. Alvarez, Tucker, Pena, Brantley, and Guriel all took a beat. He swings and fouls one off. Up the middle. Throws to first. One out in the top of the first. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Bo Bichette, second round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Cody Bradford. He last pitched two days ago. Cody Bradford. The pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. The one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One and two here. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. One's in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Grossman makes the grab on the run. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The first base Here's base. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Guerrero Jr. To first, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Here is Marcus Simeon. Leading off for the Rangers, the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. High in the air, out to right. Biggio moves towards it. He's got it. And there's one down. So now it's Corey Seager. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. The 3-1. And there's the strike. And that's ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Nathaniel low up to hit. Grab ball to first. Could be two. Guerrero. Toss to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Welcome back, digging in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 
Vladimir Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's made Dad proud so far in his career. Multiple All-Star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More play discipline than dad. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Next pitch misses. Three and one. And a pitch in the air, center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And a 1-1. That one the other way. Makes the catch for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Stays alive. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Chop back up the middle. In plenty of time to first. That's out number three. of inning number two. Now here's the Rangers, D.H. Adolis Garcia. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. Two and two now. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And that one lifted in the air center field. Kiermaier moving under it. And it's caught for the out. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. There's the strike up high, and the count one and two. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking oh. forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Second inning here, no score. And that's and downstairs three. and outside. Ground ball right side to first already two out here in the home half of inning number two here's Leody Tavares the wide to kick the pitch on the ground to the left Bichette fires to first on the run and that is that
Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Grant Anderson. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. One, two now. Biggio checks his swing, appeal to third, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Kenny Jansen. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Over for one so far. Righty delivers. That's a ball. Top of the third, no score. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss struck him out. Bo Bichette digs in now. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. That one missed. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Anderson over to first. Bichette back in standing. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one ripped left field. That's back. Grabs it right up against the wall. And welcome back. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Up next for the Rangers, Travis Jankowski. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Lined into right. Makes the grab, one down. Here's the third baseman, Josh Smith. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Jansen, great throw. He's out. Two-one pitch is in there, and the count is even. Left-hand batter waits. Got it by him for the K. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Next pitch off the play, and it's two and one. That's a little bit low. Hit hard on the ground is short. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Whit Merrifield next up for the Blue Jays. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. The 2 2 on the way. I got three and two. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Low makes the grab, two down. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. 
It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Welcome back. Ready to go, to go for the last go. half of the Rangers. inning. Here's a speed the threat. Marcus Simeon. Marcus. Simeon. Here's a 1-1. One -one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A solo shot is 11th of the year, and they jump ahead in the fourth. It's 1-0. Now it's Corey Seager. He reached out a walk his first time. That's through there for a strike. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And it's even up. <laughs> the real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. In the air out to center. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Gets him to chase after that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So up next, Adolis Garcia. Glide out his first time. And one and two. That one is upstairs. Here's a 2-2. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Here's a one two. Got him looking, and one away. Now it's Jansen in the hit. Rounded out his first time up. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. His first at bat was a strikeout. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. And now in a two strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. 
at the belt and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Next up for Texas, Leone Tavares. Tavares. Lifted in the air right center field. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two down. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Next pitch is outside. And that's outside. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Dane Dunning. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And the batter is George Springer. Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter. And he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stutter. Yeah, the Stuttering Association for the Young, SAY is the acronym, and George Springer doing a great job representing that organization. 2-2 Two -two now. Good eye right there. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. Yeah, yeah, Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. There's a swing and a miss. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. and misses it's a strikeout and now it's Dalton Varsho almost drove one out of here last time up wide out to the warning track and ball four to a board walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly they're in some hot water trying to protect this lead Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now On the ground, could be two. Over to second for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Bottom of the six. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. Strike two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Check swing and he held up.
And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Josh Smith getting ready to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Simeon. 2-2 Two -two now. Simeon waits. Popped in the air. Left field. Grabs it on the run. Two down. Seeger stands in now. He's 0 for 1. Corey Seeger. Next nope. offering is downstairs. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. He takes it on his own, and that is the inning. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, John King. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Now pitching for the Rangers. Number 32, John King. And here is Whit Merrifield, one for two. Base hit center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Matt Chapman. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Kiermaier now. The 1-1. One -one. And he lays one down the left side. There's one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Two on, one out at the play. Danny Jansen. And now the lefty in the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Diving, and he can't make the play. The run scores from third, and this game is tied in the seventh. And the throws offline, safe at third. Just a huge at bat right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Josh Spores gets handed the rock out of the pen. On for his 20th appearance of the year. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that's a fair ball. In to score is the runner from third. It's 2-1. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe as they jump ahead. A run scores. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. And a pitch. And another ball. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This will be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Into the outfield, base hit. One runs in, Tavares. Fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. It's 4-1.
That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. Bounced out to short. Sneaks through. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back-to-back -back singles. Just one of those scene high base hits through the infield. Just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Stepping in, Dalton Varsho. 1-1, one, one, check swing, appeal down to third. No swing. Still only one out here in the inning. Runner. Runners on the move. Drill to the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. His 12th of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 7-1. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Joe Barlow. He's into the game with the bases empty. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One for three. One one now. And that one just missed off the outside edge. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that's outside. Back-to-back -back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Righty to the plate. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Runner on at first with one gone. And next for Toronto, Whit Merrifield. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. The 1-1. One -one. In the dirt. Two straight. And the runner holds. Right-handed reliever. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Now bad out. The third base hit. Matt. And here Chapman. is Matt Chapman. Guerrero, the runner at first with two gone. And it is two and one. And that's a little high. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And that one is lifted in the air. Jankowski under it. Brings it in. And that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning. Here's Here Nathaniel go. Lowe. The first base. And a big swing and a miss. Well, these Rangers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. We've seen a lot of soft contact from them, and it hasn't been easy to barrel up the baseball in this one, but I'm interested to see if they can make any adjustments moving forward. And here is Adolis Garcia. The 1-1. One, one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. On the ground to third. And Garcia is out. Two outs, base is empty. Jonah Heim, the next to hit. Hammered right field. And in one hops the wall. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double.
Thomas Hatch takes over on the mound. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. So next to hit for Texas, Laoti Tavares. Man on second, two down. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. And welcome back. And the batter now, Kevin Kiermeyer. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. That one, 95 to finish him off. Danny Jansen to hit here. Now fly ball to right center. Grossman moving under this one. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. And the batter now, Kevin Biggio. Got it by him for the K. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Robbie Grossman. Robbie Grossman. The 1 1. Outside. Outside. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And now it's going to be Travis Jankowski. Check swing. He held up, and it's three and two. Oh, he gloves it, fires to first, on the money, nice play. Josh Smith will hit next. The 2-1. And a strike in there. Now a check swing, but he held up. And the righty deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. That's the third. Whips it across. And that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, we new inning getting one. started. Here's George Springer to start it off. Three one now. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Grossman makes the catch, and there's one gone. So up next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Here's a 1-1. Next offering is outside.
the pitch. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Three, two. And down on strikes. And there are two outs. And now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two outs. Ground ball, left side. Fair ball. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So they turn things over to the righty, Jose Leclerc. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Swings through that one for strike two. Two-two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Welcome back. Bottom nine. And now it's the Rangers' leadoff hitter, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And here's Corey Seeger to hit. Corey Seeger. Swings and misses. And we count one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And here's the first now baseman, that. Nathaniel first Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two strikes. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And he's got it. Ball game. 